Hi, what am I doing with all these? Why don't you stick around and find out? Hi, welcome to Trisha's Makeup World. If you're new to the channel, hi, I'm Trisha, and I absolutely love colourful makeup. Uh, today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I thought I could maybe rank some of my, well, actually all of my Jolie Beauty palettes. Apart from my intergalactic one, I don't know where I've put it. It's maybe in Alan's house someplace. But what I'll do when I come to that palette is I will uh, just put a picture of it up. But I thought we could maybe rank, you know, the one that I like the best right through to the one that maybe isn't so much my favourite. And, um, well, maybe create a makeup look as well with you know, maybe one or two of the palettes. But anyway, we'll just get stuck right in. The first one that I'm going to show you is this one. This is probably my favourite one, the Ether Reality palette. And I'll open it up and I'll let you see all the different colours. It's all the different colours. It's, you know, got pinks, blues and some greens in it. I absolutely love this palette. When she released this, I was creating various different looks. They're probably more my sort of colours, you know, especially for in the summer that I would put on, you know, like pinks, blues, lilacs. I really, really like it a lot. Um, it's got some like uh, multi-chromes in it and it's got some glitters in it as well. I know a lot of people aren't overly keen on the glitters, um, but they are, they're, they're really, really pretty. I mean, that's like sort of, you know, like blue, purple, green. This one's sort of purple and green. They're, they're really, really pretty. I really like them a lot. Um, this is, yeah, this is probably my most favourite one. Unfortunately, I put the mirror on it. <laughs> uh, the next one after that, I'm just going to drop, I should have wipes ready to wipe my fingers, is the Sirens one. I absolutely love this one as well. Um, this is it here. And this is more sort of purples, sort of more sort of tealy, bluey green colours, and then your more sort of greeny and sort of grungy greens. And again, it's a, I really like this one a lot. Um, I, again, it's probably colours that I like. I like doing sort of purple and green looks a lot with this. When I got this one, there was um, liquid eyeshadows, and she did like chameleon pots of like multi-chromes of flakes to put on your eyes as well and I did get a couple of the liquid lipsticks I think it was more like a sort of a bluey colour and then it was like a sort of like a, a glittery black shade as well um, that I got with this collection when I bought it. The next one that I'm going to show you is the one that I created a look with uh, in my previous video, our brand new one called Till Death. This is probably more sort of neutral leaning, but I really, really like it a lot. Um, it obviously has your know, more sort of neutral shades here that are um, sort of more sort of brown. Uh, and then down this sort of section here, I'd say it's more sort of pink, sort of mauve colours that we have here. And then at the far end, it's more like greys. Some of them kind of even look sort of greeny, goldy sort of looking as well. This one is all shimmers. This is probably uh, the first one I've had from her that's all shimmers, which is brilliant because I know a lot of you don't like the glitters. This one I got two liquid, no, three liquid eyeshadows and I got two lipsticks. Um, I've actually got one of them on just now and then the other shades like a sort of a grey colour um, with this collection. I know there's other ones as well, and there's a mirror. Uh, and then the next one that I'm going to show you is the Sorceress palette. Um, this was actually the very first palette that I bought of Jolly Beauties. As you can see, it's very, very loved. <laughs> it's been used quite a lot. I've hit pan on quite a few of the shades. Uh, this one here, I like that one. That's like a sort of a nice purple one. And this one here is like sort of green. I really like playing with these shades a lot. There is glitters in this one, um, but it is a really, really pretty palette. 
The next one I'm going to talk about, just briefly, because I don't have it to show you, I'm so sorry, I don't know where I've put it, I've, I've been turning my room upside down trying to find it, is the Intergalactic palette. I believe she brought that one out before the Sorceress palette. And that's all sort of like bright shades in it, and it's got some multi-chromes in it, and it, there is glitters in that one as well. And that was the second palette that I got after the Sorceress. I think Alan bought it for the Christmas one. The next one I'm going to show you is the Vampirism one. And this is it here. This is more sort of red leaning and obviously got some neutral tones in it. And there is a couple of purple tones in it as well. Again, this is well loved. I do really, really like this. I tend to use this more when it gets into the colder weather and I'm wearing my darker shades. Um, I love, you know, the bright reds in it. It's it's really, really pretty. Really, really pretty. I do actually see the red glitters. They're actually quite nice. I do like putting them on um, as well. I think with this one, there was maybe some liquid lipsticks that came out. I'm pretty sure I got and they're in the new packaging, if I remember correctly. I think, yeah. The next one after that, oh, I've not actually really played with it, is the Carnival palette. Uh, I do need to, well maybe do a get ready with me, I've not actually had the chance to use it. So this one's maybe unfairly been <laughs> marked quite low, but this is more sort of Halloween shades, obviously with the oranges, um, there's some purples in it and greens. I love doing purple and green together. I absolutely, or orange and purple together, or even orange and green. I love this. We'll have to play with it. It has been unfairly marked quite low because I haven't used it yet. And then the last one, I think there was maybe, I'm trying to think what came with this. I only bought the palette, but I think there was like liquid lipsticks. Um, possibly some liquid eyeshadow, so I'm not 100% sure about that. And there was a water-activated liner palette with this. The last one that I'm showing you is the Zombified palette. This is more a neons palette, and if you put a UV light over it, the glow in the dark and things like that, I do have the water-activated liner palette with this, and I did get two liquid lipsticks with it. Um, I think it's like a bright, or like a purple colour. I think the other one's like a bright pink colour. Um, I think the reason why I've maybe marked this one probably the most is because I find it quite hard using the neons. I need to, I need to play with it more, <laughs> definitely. But anyway, that is all my Jolie Beauty palettes that I have. I think what we'll do is we'll maybe just create a nice look with, let me think, Probably the Ether Reality palette. This this is my favourite one. I think what we'll maybe do is we'll maybe do like a pinky blue or a pinky green look with it. Because I've got my I'm, I'm beginning to bring out my more sort of summer colours. I do have my base face on. I am trying out Made by Mitchell's Skin Truth. I've got the foundation, the primer and the concealer. I'm still kind of testing it out. I've actually got it on with one of my other foundations because the problem that I'm having with it, I like the feeling of it on. I think it's very hydrating. If you've got dry skin, it's great for that. But I just wish it would give me more coverage. That's the only thing I've said. So yeah, I have been mixing it with other ones because I just feel it's not giving me enough coverage. I think if my skin was completely fine, but at the moment, because obviously we're now getting into the warmer weather, I am having a little bit of like breakouts and things like that. It's just not giving me enough coverage. But anyway, I think what we'll do is we'll get stuck in and we'll just create a makeup look. I'm just going to pull my brushes out and we'll see which one is right. I'm going to use that one, that one, that one. Flat brush. Just 
and just bring it up to there. I think we'll do the same at the other side. My eyes are quite red at the moment. I don't know if it's because I've been playing about with that new Jolie palette so much and um, taking it off and putting it on. I've kind of, my, eye, my eyelids are a bit red. I am still thinking about doing a Halara haul and testing it out. I'm now going in with another fluffy brush and we're going into that lighter pink shade. And I'm just slightly overlapping and blending the first shade. Like so. Doing the same at the other side. So, and then I'm going to go into, um, let me think, what do we want at the end? Do we want a bluey colour? Yeah, I think we'll go into this one here. And just bring it out at the edge, just kind of like a wee flick. And we'll do the same at the other side. make sure that they look even <laughs> and then we'll go into another fluffy one and we'll go into this blue one here and just very lightly this one here. No, I'm not. I'm going to go. Yeah, no, I am. Linda Knight, she just thought I was going into the glitter. I was like, oh, no, I don't want glitter on my eye. I'm just going to follow that line round and just bring it right across the lid. Like so. And then put that in the corner as well. I'm not really saw any new releases that I'm intrigued by. I noticed that Colourpop's done a Pokemon collection, but to be honest, it just looks like another rainbow palette to me. I do like Colourpop. I do think they're quite a good brand, um, but I just kind of thought, oh, I saw it. I wasn't very impressed. <laughs> saw any anything that I really like I'm still I think I might pick up the Beauty Bay Smoky palette um, and I have saw some pieces on TikTok by a brand called Elle Louise I think I maybe mentioned them in my previous video You've, other people have probably heard of them they're quite relatively new to me I've you know they're blushes that look like the flowers have came up so much and I'm like right I want one of those I noticed to do an eyeshadow palette as well, so I'm going to pick that up and there's maybe a highlighter palette and uh, like a liquid lipstick and we'll, we'll maybe do a wee video with that and I'm still toying with doing a Timu haul, a Shein haul and a Halara haul. <laughs> uh, I'm still trying to decide on what I want to do. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go into this blue one here. not looking too bad and then um i've already got yeah i'm going to put blush on more we'll, we'll just go in a minute i was looking for my brushes thinking to put them behind the mirror i'm just going to go into my jenna tutorials palette i've used this already on my brows and i think we're going to go into the pink one down here and i'm just going to lightly like so do the same at the other side like so, just give it a little bit of a maybe a bit of an OTT there, and then I'm going to take another brush and we'll just put a tiny bit highlight here, like so, 
and again I don't want a stripe so I'm going to just find I've maybe took that blue just trying to thin it out a bit that's a bit better yeah right next what I'm going to use is my Essence Princess Lash Princess Mascara I absolutely love this mascara I must I think I'm I pretty much use this in every video I have tried various mascaras, a lot of them are really really good but this one isn't just you know good at what it does, it's a good price. It's only maybe about at the very most a fiver but I don't think it is, I think it's maybe about £3 odds, £4 odds at the very very most. I already said that I've got one of the Jolie Beauty liquid lipsticks on. It's from the Till Death collection. It's the sort of more nudie cut. I can't remember what it's called. And then I'm going to go into my liquid eyeliner and I'm going to use the half lash ones on the bottom. This is from the P. Louise Michaela collection. I think we will, we'll do like a, maybe a get ready with me with that Carnival palette and have a proper play with it because it does have a lot of colours in there that I like but I do think it is more sort of Halloween-y shades but I mean there's nothing wrong with being orange, purple and green at any time of the year basically Right yeah, I think we're going to go for the ones on the bottom here. They're more like a half lash. It's usually been enjoying wearing half lashes. And I probably should say to you guys, I am affiliated with Jolie Beauty. And what I'll do is, I will put links to all the palettes. If you see anything that you like, you know, click the link. If you buy, I do get 10% commission. That's how it works. Um, there we go. This is the final look. I think it's actually turned out not too bad. I quite like it. Um, I will be back again very soon with another video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you've enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe, like and leave a comment. Uh, and I'll be back again very soon with a new video. Bye!